Hello everyone, it's not a noob Pat. Welcome back to Perk Review. Today we're taking a look at Tenacity, which is a David Tapp perk that is unlocked at level 30. The pros of this perk are that it allows you to crawl 50% faster, and you can recover and crawl at the same time. Typically speaking, you can only recover or crawl, and not both at the same time. So you can only stay still and recover, or you can crawl, but not gain recovery. The cons are that realistically, this perk needs to be paired with Unbreakable to make it viable. Secondly, it relies on the killer slugging. If a killer is going to hit you down and immediately pick you up, obviously Tenacity doesn't have much of a use. In our first video example, you can see here that I am both recovering and crawling at the same time. However, this does not give a good perspective of how much faster I am crawling. Here, the survivor on top is utilizing tenacity, while the survivor on bottom is not. You can see here how much quicker you can crawl with this perk. For reference, I feel like this is the same speed of movement as a crouch survivor who is walking without urban evasion. Furthermore, you can see that this survivor on top has paired it with Unbreakable, so they are ready to pick themselves up. Let's get into our video examples. I know I have tenacity and Unbreakable, so I decide to sacrifice myself to get Kate out of the dying state after I'm unhooked. I assume that the killer is going to slug because there's a lot going on. Now the spirit is playing a bit unpredictably, but I do guess right as the killer decides to go for Yui instead of me. I'm moving around, I'm trying to recover, I'm trying to see if I should crawl away from the killer, or I'm trying to see if I should crawl towards the door where Kate is unlocking it because I know I can pick myself up and escape. You can see here that the spirit returns to the door and Kate is downed. Now, Yui runs and unlocks the door. Fortunately, I'm able to recover out of the dying state with Unbreakable and get out of the game. Now, the only reason I could do this was tenacity. Typically, I would be forced to choose whether or not I would want to recover and try to get myself up, or if I should crawl towards the door to escape. Tenacity eliminated that hesitation. For the second example, I'm being chased by the Huntress, and I accidentally run into Meg, who is hiding around these rocks. Now, the killer is going to hit me down, but decides to slug Meg for just a few seconds to be able to get a hit in. Fortunately, due to the crawl speed boost, I am able to get away while the Huntress runs around confused because I should not have been able to crawl that fast or that far away. So she's looking in that radius, trying to figure out where I'm at. Then, I've been recovering that entire time, and I get myself up with Unbreakable. I'm free to go. So let's give it a grade. So Tenacity is really good at what it's meant to do. As far as recovering while crawling and the crawling speed boost, it does its job exactly as intended. However, you really have to ask how helpful that would be if you're also not running Unbreakable. Therefore, it gets a 3.5 because of the perk's severe limitations. It almost requires Unbreakable to be usable, like this perk is an accessory for that one, but even then, both those perks require the killer to slug, which won't always happen. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I referenced Unbreakable a lot during this video, so if you want to learn more about that perk, make sure to click the screen or in the description down below and watch my video on that perk. If you liked what you saw in this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe if you want to see more DVD content in the future. Take it easy.